Good morning everyone. Happy Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday, my favourite day of the week and I'm going to be going over to my friend Kira's tomorrow hopefully. And what else am I doing tomorrow? Getting my hair done. Oh my god, that's the most exciting thing because look at these roots. <laughs> the crime of being a brunette and wanting to be a blonde. It's just, it's a tough tough gig. <laughs> should just be happy with my dark hair but it doesn't suit me in any way shape or form at all. I want to give a huge thank you to all of you who sent all your little suggestions and helpful hints on how to kind of repair my hair. I'm going to bring all those like products like the list of them to my hairdresser and get her to like help me pick out one like based on the ingredients and stuff um and see see what one will suit my hair but thank you so much for all of your suggestions i really need to charge my battery it's flashing at me i'm not going to be doing anything interesting this morning but i will catch up with you in a little bit okay vlog is edited for today i've been sitting here <laughs> playing around with makeup well actually i was trying the new note mineral foundation i just threw it on my face it might be a little bit dark for me but it's actually kind of nice and then again i was using that bright peony lip and cheek tint from the body shop it's amazing the things you do when you're sitting here kind of editing and stuff you're like oh I'll put this on as well I'm gonna show you what I bought in pennies yesterday because I kind of want to put it away and I need to change my sheets I need to clean my bedroom um because like yesterday I kind of did like hoovering and stuff downstairs so downstairs is not too bad but my bedroom is like a small bomb went off in it like just a clothes bomb there's clothes everywhere and I often bring like bottles of water to bed as well and I just have like a collection of bottles of water like thrown in the bin so I need to empty the bins and stuff it's very exciting but I'll show you what I got in pennies first because I want to put it away I want to make the bed change sheets stuff like that so I'll show you what I got yesterday I was complaining I was like there's nothing in pennies but yet I still managed to spend like a hundred euro in there oh and I was on I'm a, on a spending ban like I shouldn't be spending that much money I like really want to bring everything back but I like it too much first thing I got was this bralette oh god there's underwear coming out as well hang on the first thing I got is this bralette I go to the like not the gym I have a personal trainer which I try and train with regularly enough and I thought this might be a cute sports bra they had horrible sports bras in there so I thought because it's a bralette and there's no padding in it and it's kind of loose and it looks comfortable and it might be nice for actually doing my personal training I don't know we'll see I got these underwear, they were only two euro. I bought them before, but I bought them in the wrong size, so I got the right size, and I have the bra left to match this, and they're so cute. These sandals, so adorable. I got them in a size five. They're actually a very small fit. Normally I'm a four in pennies, but these are kind of small, and they were nine euro, but they are the cutest, like little espadrilles. Oh, I love them so much. They are just so adorable. They'd be nice with jeans. I got them to wear on holidays, which I don't think we're go going to be going actually on a sun holiday this year. I think we're going to New Zealand in November, early December. So these will be great because I think it'll be kind of warm in New Zealand during that time. Got the unicorn pajamas because how could you pass them up? Look how adorable they are. They were they were pretty affordable as well. They're only seven euro for the top and the shorts, and the shorts are in there somewhere. Yeah, they're the shorts. So that's what they look like. They are so cute. I'm so in love with them. I didn't realise they're actually emoji pyjamas. You see the little emojis there in the tag. Hello. You probably saw these in yesterday's vlog. I mean, how could I honestly leave them behind? They're probably something that I will never wear. I'm very funny like that. Oh, no, I will wear them. No, I'm not that funny. Okay, because I do love, like, oh my god, I'm obsessed with Disney. Like, I am Disney crazy. But I'd be afraid if, like, ruining these or having to throw them out or anything like that. And they're just way too cute. They won't be worn until, like, winter time comes in because I don't... Like, I do be so warm in the house. I go around on my bare feet the majority of the time. But they would be just really cute for the winter time. I got a very basic white, like, string top. I wear these a lot. And they're so affordable as well. They're only, like, three foot. Actually, three fifty is a little bit pricey for those string tops. I thought that was only, like, two euro. Pennies is getting, it's just creeping up in price. I am notorious for losing socks, like, constantly. My washing machine seems to just devour them. So I got, like six new pairs are the Mrs. Potts ones obviously Disney and Chip and then who's on the last one Cogsworth so they're, they're the Disney ones and then I got like what's his name I used to have tons of them I remember Jimmy used to buy me them all the time when we were younger like for Valentine's Day or my birthday or whatever what was his name the Raggy Bear 
the blue blue nose bear something like that but i got them socks i just thought they were really cute and then again how could i pass up the <laughs> pajama bottoms i'm kind of raging like to bring something back today it was actually a tank i got for jimmy and it just didn't fit and wasn't suitable i was gonna get a second pair of these because jimmy was like ashley you need to get a second pair of them because you'll go crazy because i bought like you know marie from the aristocats i had pajamas with her on them and they got all like messed up and I was so annoyed that I didn't have a second pair so that's going to happen with these I know because it's pennies is notorious for them but how cute are these anyway when I was in there today they don't have any of my size left they were 10 euro which is kind of I suppose average for like Disney pajamas and I'm just so annoyed I wish I got more yesterday oh well we honestly need new bed covers and the super king bed sheets are really 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 hard to get like nice ones like really really nice ones but i found these in pennies i know they're a king my bed is super king but i have a king duvet like from my last bed so that'll have to go on and the only reason i got it is because it's marble i've never seen a marble bed cover before and i love marble it'll go really nice with our bed so i'm going to change the sheets so you can have marble and then you can have this pattern on one side and it totally matches the bed don't mind the fact that my bed's not made it's been stripped so there you go and how adorable are these shoes i thought that these are really cute they are so adorable i love them what is the designer that makes shoes that look like this Oh my god, I'm just drawing a blank right now. They were 14 euros, so they're not like the cheapest they used to be. Like, I would have considered a pair of these shoes back in, in pennies like a few years ago. Maybe like 11 euro, maybe 10. But well, pennies is just creeping up and up all the time. I buy these type of shoes every year from them. Sometimes they've like crisscross ones, but these are the style for this season okay i'm so sad but i bought these like keychains they're probably for like you know friends you know when you're in school and you used to give people like a friendship like bracelet or a friendship keyring or something but they're mrs potts and chip and i'm gonna put them on my keys i don't care I, I might give one to kira maybe i'll give kira mrs potts or maybe i'll give it to ollie or something but i'm definitely keeping chip for myself. Pennies do the Ardell lashes as well. So the wispies are like my favourite style. And then they had these double wispies. If the camera will focus you could see them. Why won't you focus? There we go. So the double wispies. They look really full don't they? So I've never tried them ones before. Wispies are like some of my favourite ones. So I just picked them up. Sure why not? Okay so that's everything that I got in pennies. Not too exciting. I'm going to throw a wash on now. Because the place is just a mess in this room like I need to go through my clothes and go through the wash basket I'm gonna put a wash on like I said wash my new sheets and then pop them onto my bed yeah I love like fresh sheets it's like my favorite thing ever 10 million years later <laughs> I put on the bed sheets and I, I kind of iron them not really too much I'm very bad at ironing I can't stand ironing Hence why Jimmy does all his own ironing. <laughs> so I'm just cleaning up the rest of the room. Look, put a wash on. Look, these are the bottles I'm talking about. They're just like everywhere. Can't wait to get into it. Now I just need to clean up everything else in the room. So his vlog is exporting. Thank God it's going to take how long? Like a million years. It's going to take an hour and eight minutes. Nine minutes. Ten minutes. Eleven minutes. Ah, uh, here. Gotten a coffee since I was last talking to you. <laughs> I had to make a trip to the Costa get a coffee and it's okay I got one yesterday and it was way nicer than this sometimes it's hit and miss with Costa it can be nice and sometimes it's not really nice I'm much more of a Starbucks person got a couple of packages like I said yesterday um I didn't get anything today I got an email from Beauty Bay as well and they sent me out the Jeffree Star collection I didn't realize he had a new collection coming out and I wasn't gonna pick it up if <laughs> I just didn't know I haven't been kind of keeping up to date with any new releases and stuff like that I'm so bad it sent it out to me so it'll be interesting to see what that collection is like i can do a video on it if you're interested um i don't know maybe that's not something that interests you at all the last time i did do a video there was like about two or three subscribers that were not pleased with me for having jeffree star products on my channel like he did apologize now a few times and um you know i'd like to give people the benefit of the doubt i don't know maybe that's wrong of me maybe i'm being naive or something but I, I don't know, the Beauty Bay sent out the products to me anyway, so, you know, I may as well review them uh, for my channel. Although, if that's something you guys really don't want to see, then, you know, let me know. <laughs> okay, I'm looking a bit hotter now. <laughs> I just put on a face mask. My skin is not great at the moment. It's quite dry, actually, and I suffer with, like, I have oily skin. But I noticed a bit of flaking around my nose, so I put this on. 
the one I'm using at the moment is the Glam Glow Youth Mud. It's the black jar. I'll link it down below because I, I was hating on this. It's not my favourite one. I do prefer the white one. But I feel like it leaves my skin really fresh when I take it off. So I'm still giving it a shot. I'm nearly out of this to be honest. So this is the one I get, the white one. It's just my favourite one and that's the one that I'm currently using. But the same price. The black one is quite nice. It just tingles a little bit more in the skin. But look at this one. You could get like the multi masking kit. It has like all of the masks. I look fantastic. Talked about it the other day. Is where I buy my glam glow. I usually leave this one on for about 20 minutes. So I'm just going to sit with it here now for 20 minutes. Okay, so I'm just going to wash off this face mask. Max. <laughs> mask. Why can't I talk? I am just doing the thumbnail for today's vlog. And I need to do the thumbnail for... My June hits and misses. I think I'm done for the day. I'm going to relax. I actually need to go and make something to eat now. So um, I've just finished all my work. This has been on for like 15 minutes. Maybe close to 20. So <laughs> it's time to take it off. I'm just finishing up for the evening my work. And I'm so excited because tomorrow is Friday. I don't know if I talked about this yet actually on my vlog. Tomorrow is Friday, it's the 30th of June and Crash Bandicoot, the tree, like the trilogy is being released for PlayStation 4. I cannot wait. 44 euro, which is so inexpensive considering like PlayStation games are like about 70 euro. I mean like I played The Last of Us and I think that was about 70 euro. I'm just so excited for the fact that Craft Bandicoot's out tomorrow because it has been like my throwback game. I remember playing it as a like a tiny child fighting with like my cousins over whose goal it was and oh I just loved it so much. I loved all those PlayStation games like Spyro, Hercules, oh I used to love, um, what's the other one, Rayman, oh they were all, they were just amazing. So that's out tomorrow which I probably will spend the weekend playing if I'm being honest. If I'm being really honest I'll probably spend the whole month of July playing it. <laughs> so my videos are gone up for the day. So my June hits and misses is gone up there. It's not doing too bad. I just don't know how everything's gonna go with this, I don't know, beauty channel situation. So my vlog channel, this video just went up. It's a shopping, come shopping with me. So that would have been yesterday's video. So I'm just starting to prepare dinner. I'm gonna do peppers. I'm gonna have a little bit of broccoli and then we're going to have some mushrooms with some chicken and we're doing stir fry so i'm gonna mix in some oyster sauce and soy sauce our veg all chopped up here i probably need to chop a little bit more i only cut up half of the peppers because i'm throwing in loads of broccoli and mushrooms and stuff and i'm putting three peppers in which i usually only put two in Get on here which i managed to chop up quite nicely there and i'm just using rapeseed oil this is the one i use it's the irish cold pressed virgin rapeseed oil it has a bit of chili in it you can also get one with lemon so once the chicken is no longer pink you can add in all your veg try not to cook the veg for too long you want it el dente add in the mushrooms and then you're done I just have to add in a mixture of these then and then that's it and then the noodles. So add in these noodles I showed you yesterday and that's what they should look like there. So there's no sauce or anything in that yet. It's just noodles with your El Dante veg and a little bit of chicken. You can put in as much as you think you might need but don't go too ham with it because it's full of salt as well. It's just a little bit. Pencil for this. No, it's fine. <laughs> I feel like I've been finishing off all my vlogs here, so I may as well continue. My face looks really red. It's from that face mask, I think. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I won't want to be vlogging much tomorrow. I'll try. I am going to film tomorrow, so I might not have that much time to actually vlog, but I'll try and fit in as much as I possibly can, and I will talk to you guys then. I love you all so much. Bye!